Hi and hope you are doing well. I'm Jody and I was playing the Shonya CTF, an Indian CTF this week with my team. We have a very good team. And average this question, this is considered easy and it's easy, but I thought it's good to show how reverse engineering works on the mathematical algorithmic levels. It's only three lines. They have this flag. They have this logic behind it and they print a flag. And we should be able to reverse engineer this to get back the flag. I'm using the Jupyter or notebooks, whatever you call it these days. Uh, this is kind of what data scientists work. Sometimes it's good that you can write documentation in it alongside your code or create cells and run your code there. I pasted this, shift enter, runs it, or you can go from run and run, run selected cell. 2 SDR is not known. Okay, I will go with SDR. So, this is the question. They have this flag based on this mathematical calculation. We should be able to reverse all of this. Part of this is very, very, very simple. For example, this minus, int, blah, blah, it's only numbers. So every single run, this will lead to the same thing. On another cell, I will say, okay, calculate this. This is minus one. So I can replace all of this nonsense with a single minus one. Same thing happens here. I have the flag, all the flag, but this is the step. This should be a simple number. Let's check. Again, I will cut that. In another cell, I will paste it. This is also minus one. So the step is minus one. Now I have a better understanding. Same thing, no. Here, uh, this is extra. Okay. So I have this flag. If you haven't played CTF, it's very good. Go to CTF time site, enroll, play individual, create a team with friends or whatever. You will learn a lot of things and you will have fun. Uh, there are different parts in any CTF. Sometimes it's a web challenges. Sometimes it's a cryptography. Sometimes it's reverse engineering. Reverse engineering can be APK reverse engineering. It can be a mathematical reverse engineering or whatever. So we have this flag. We have run this logic on it and we had a flag we have run this we've got this normally if we run the same logic on this we should get the main flag let's see so what it this does first it reverses the flag after that enumerates it so enumerate means uh if you are starting from the beginning you will have zero and this character whatever it is then you will have one and this U blah blah. And all the things, for example, if it is our 60 characters, at the end you will have 60 and this G reverse hat. So I and C will be these one by one. We were going to reverse the flag. So the first time we will have the length of list with this, then this, then this on I and C. What the original code does is it First, X ors the character and its location. Then, negates it. Not. Then, uh, multiply it to the uh, minus one. Because uh, characters are like this. For example. When you negate it, it becomes this. And this indicates that this is a uh, less than zero. This is the sign. So the sign is minus. So it uh, multiplies it in mi uh, minus one to get rid of this. And then it adds some numbers to it. And this is the XOR operator. XOR works like this. If you have a number and you have another number here, and you XOR them, you will get one when two, these two are different. So you get one here, you get zero, zero, one, one. What is good about XOR or like a hat is 
it's used a lot in cryptography because if you X or this and this, you will get this. Fun part is if you X or this and this, you will get this. If you X or this and this, you will get this. So X or is reversible. If you create a text and X or it with a key, you will get some garbage. Looks like garbage. Uh, cipher text, for example. Then, if you have the cipher, X or it with the key, you will get the text. In many cases, if you know part of the text, you can X or your cipher text with that part of the text and you will get that part of the key. This is fun. Anyway, here, for each character, we X or it with the location, negate it or not it, multiply to minus one, then add the length of the flag multiplied by 6, then add 15. And we get this. So we have to reverse this. Let's do it. I will copy the exact same thing to keep the main one. Here, it's this. So first, I will reverse this. I want to reverse step by step. Let's also delete this. So we'll have the main code here and my copy here. If I create C, I will get the exact thing which is here. I don't want this. What happens here? First, the last thing which happens is plus 15. So in the beginning, I will do a minus 15 because I'm doing it in reverse. If you do this, then this, then this. When you want to reverse, first you have to undo this, undo this, undo this. So minus 15. Minus a uh, len of flag multiplied by 6. Now I have reversed this part. Then I will multiply this into minus one and I will negate it or run a logical knot. We'll exchange zeros with one and ones with zeros. So now I'm in this one and the last part is XORing it with the location. So I would say I XOR with this one. Super beautiful. Let's run it. As soon as I run it, I understand that I'm on a correct path because these numbers do look like ASCII characters. Uh, you may know about ASCII characters and you may not. If you search for the ASCII chart, this is the equivalent of each character you have. For example, we know that A is 64 or 97, capital A, uh, non-capital A, normal A. And every character has a code. And this looks like ASCII range. So for me, it's enough to say, instead of returning the number, return the equivalent ASCII of it. And we have the answer, 0, C, T, F. And then in the end, I need to reverse it on the last step. Now it's correct. I know this is the format of this flag in this competition. Every competition will tell you about their format. So instead of printing the list, I can do join this with the flag. And this is our flag. And this is called lit. For example, instead of E, you use tree because they look like the same. This is A. This is O. This is E. Okay, so this is zero CTF, a joke or a clever and funny remark. Let's submit it. I will submit this one. Hopefully it's okay. We got the points. Good. To the next question. Have fun.